Now that summer is well and truly underway, cockroaches, ants, and spiders are only some of the pests that might be invading your home. So, with the warmer months bring a mix of rain and bushfires, Aussie households are turning into the perfect breeding ground for some of these creepy crawlies. Now, joining us today, Triple M <laughs> Breakfast Host Radio host Rob Palmer and a massive fan of spiders. I just got a, I've got a feeling that this is going to be rather entertaining. But right. how are you, Rob? Welcome, my friend. <laughs> Anything good happen? Are you enjoying that spider there? It's <laughs> looking at me, and I'm, I'm not very good with them. Okay, Welcome. so there's, there's some things that you just don't deal with so well. And oh, the eight-legged beasts are one of them. We'll, oh, we'll get to the spiders in, in a sec, but first, let's talk about the cockroaches because these things are everywhere. It doesn't Please matter do. which home that you're in. We all. We all like cockroaches, don't we? Yeah, well, the thing is, because it's so dry outside, yeah. right? The cockroaches, they, they go for your home. It's like an oasis in the desert. <laughs> all right, if you go in the average kitchen, it's, it's like a spa for a cockroach, right? There's water under the sink. <laughs> I can't even look at these things. Um, there, there's water under the sink. You've got water. You've, they go in there. It's like they're just having a little jacuzzi in that little watered area. There's lots of food for them. They can survive a nuclear winter, so they say. So to try and destroy them all is just futile. So what you want to do is make your home as unattractive as possible for cockroaches to be. So you just take away the wetness and you take away the food as much as possible. Come on. <laughs> as much as possible. Here too. No, well, that's right. So what you want to do is go around the outside of your home. You can seal up uh, places where they'll get in, like pipe penetrations. Uh, they'll get in around, like, up through cracks in the floorboards. And they'll, they'll, they can get in... Oh, they're bad, aren't they? Um, they can get in just about anywhere. It's sort of like trying to keep uh, Ethan Hunt out of you know, the CIA headquarters in Mission Impossible, <laughs> right? But you've got to do what you can and make your home as uninviting as possible for the spiders. Look, it's pretty common to find ants around the kitchen. Sp Did I say spiders? I mean, cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> you <can spice laughs> You've got them on the mind, don't you? He's absolutely terrified. It's hilarious. But let's talk about ants for a minute because they're everywhere. If you leave a couple of crumbs lying around, they just get all over them. How do you deal with ants? Ants go pretty hard. And once the <laughs> one thing that a pest inspector will say he cannot... Uh, guarantee against those little black ants. And every house has seen the black ants make that trail from one place to another. They'll just excuse me for a second because I think I see some black ants. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh, my breakfast. Who's left the peanut butter <laughs> crust? Ah, don't touch me! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> a crust like this, they're all over the place. <laughs> just put it over there. Mm, let's peanut butter. So, yeah, basically, they don't like orange oil, ants. If you can put orange oil where they're getting into the house... What about these? No, come on, what about these guys? Oh, it's a big black thing. <laughs> yeah, that's just funnel wet. I'll just stand over here. We, we've all been known to give a, a spider a bit of a headache from time to time. Is that the best way we should deal with them? Should well, we kill them, or...? I normally... I would call my wife, usually, and... <laughs> I can and see just, that. <laughs> she'll get a broom out. Cos, let's face it, spiders, as much as they're um, not very... Nice to look at. They, um, <laughs> they do a good job and they help get rid of bugs. OK, so you need spiders. And they, they're, oh, as much as you hate them, some people have a real problem with them. I don't understand it myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so spiders, what you want to do, you broom them outside or you can actually catch a spider under a jar, something like a funnel web, which will um, cause you all sorts of problems. They hang around in warm, damp areas. It's so, like under decks. If you rip up a deck, there's a 85% chance you're going to bump into a funnel web at some stage. Don't do home renos. Well, just <laughs> under your deck. If you're going to go under your deck or you're going to rip up a deck or go under to get a tennis ball, put long clothes on, right? Put long trousers and gloves and get under there. I wouldn't go under myself, personally, because of the high-risk situation. But... Uh, yeah. And, and, and redbacks, of course, they hang around the dunny seats, as we all know. But look, if you're going to an outdoor toilet, just check under just the seat for a redback, because that's the last place you want to get bitten. All right, all right. mate. I think right. we're going to let you, your heart rate slow down. Can we? Oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> he's 